Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 1040. My name is Christina and on today's episode I'm showing you the Dina Wakely Media Metallic Paints and Glaze. Dina Wakely has come out with a few new paint colors and a glazing medium as part of her line with Ranger. So it's the glazing medium and then she has Penny, Gilt and Sterling. She also has these new fine tip applicators that fit directly onto her paint bottles and you unscrew it and it allows you to have uh, make fine tips and drawing and doodles and that with the paint. Then there is this pin here that fits back into it and that is how it keeps the paint from clogging the tips. So I had done this page here and I had used some texture paste to um, stencil with and that's how I got that texture there. But then I used some of her paint colors with the glaze to just uh, blend onto the page. I used her new stencil here with the butterflies and it is black and then I stenciled some silver over it so it has a bit of a sheen. And then I used a fine tip applicator um, just to add the little dots on the butterflies and the little trail. So I'm going to do something similar today. So I have a card here that I've put a very thin layer of Dina's gesso on. And now I'm going to use the glazing medium with some of her colors. So I have magenta here. So I'm going to put a bit of magenta down. I'm going to put a bit of the blackberry violet. And I have a bit of lime. And then I'm going to take the glazing medium and put a bit beside each one. The more medium you add, the thinner the paint will be. And then I will mix it with my palette knife. So now, I think I'll just use a little sponge I have here to put the paint on. So you can see now it is a lot thinner of a paint because it's now a glaze. Whereas Dina's paints are heavy body, by adding the glazing medium to it, you now have a thinner paint to work with. So I'll just do the background here all over. And I'm going to give that a quick dry. Then I'm going to take one of her stencils. This is Graphic Shapes. Take a couple stencils. And I'm going to take a bit of the purple. Now normally when you use these paints straight out of the bottle, they would be opaque because of their heavy bodiness. But now they are um, sort of sheer. Because it's a glaze now, it's not a heavy body paint. And as I said, the more glaze you add, the more sheer it will be. If you only want a little bit of the sheerness, then you can add just a little bit of paint. I'll just maybe I'll just sort of 
cover. I've just covered the whole background with that design and I'm going to dry this layer. I'm now going to take her insects, it's butterflies and a bee, I think. And with this stencil, you get the stencil as well as the mask for all the shapes. And I'll just use this big butterfly here. And I'm going to use um, her black gesso. Line it up. I'm just going to see if it's. I can't tell if it's straight or a bit on an angle. Anyway, I'm going to lay it down and I'll just use the same sponge I have been using and dab on that color. So you can see the gesso, it's nice and opaque. And that's why I like to use black gesso for these type of things, because you only need to put one layer on and it will be nice and dark and bold. So you can see how beautiful that butterfly is. And now I'm going to dry it. So now I'm going to go back, put my stencil back on, and I'm going to take my silver paint. Ooh, that's way too much. Sort of line up my stencil, and I'll use again the same sponge. And I'm going to do a layer of silver over it. And now we have this beautiful sparkly silver butterfly. So I'm going to So now I can take my fine tip liners. This is gilt. And you want to just give it a little shove so all the paint is down at that tip. And I always do a little sample and then I can just go in and right with my paint do some little dots on my butterfly. And because these are heavy body paints they will retain their shape. So you'll have that sort of texture of that dot there. Like that. I need to, so again, I've got my little pin 
and I can just put that pin straight in there to make sure it doesn't clog. And then I'm going to take Penny, give it that little shake, dust it, make sure it's coming out. And I'm going to try to write with this. So there I was able to write fly because it has the fine tip. I'm able to do it. And again, it's going to retain its shape, have that bit of dimension. I'm going to put this in. And these tips, as I say, fit on any of Dina's paints. And just because I have some excess silver here, I think I'm just going to put a bit of silver around my card. I want to be careful not to hit my words. And there we go. So I used the glazing medium with some of the paints and the geometric stencils. And then um, I did the black gesso with the insect stencil, put a layer of silver over it, and then used my fine tip to add some details and fly and a bit of silver around the edge. And that gives you some ideas of using Dina Wakeley's new metallic paints and glazing medium. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Imagine Crafts Neon Amplify. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.